Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Miss Hino's LEGO Robotics. Today's video, I have a Halloween robot. And I'm not even going to show it to you yet. You're going to have to stay with me. Hey guys, this is Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for checking out my channel and this video. If you love robotics and want to see more, hit that subscribe button. Okay guys, you know that I'm a huge fan of Halloween because I've done some Halloween robots before. Go ahead and check out this Halloween magic broom. All right, so let me let you watch the magic broom in action. Notice the witch sound file on here. And just a few weeks ago, I did the Halloween socially distant candy robot. Check this out. Okay, I'll start the program. And I'll pretend I'm the trick-or-treater with my bucket. Trick-or-treat! Not too bad, huh? Trick-or-treating for Halloween with social distancing. So today I have a cool robot for you to try to check out. It's one of those robots where you can put this, if you're going to have trick-or-treaters at all, um, you can put this where the candy is. It's a really cool robot. It's one that I don't know if it'll scare anybody, but it's kind of fun to try to scare somebody. So let's check this robot out. So this was a fairly simple robot. I kind of got the idea from watching um, videos where they try to scare people when they come up to get candy. So I thought it would be a cool idea to put this ultrasonic sensor behind this pumpkin face. Ooh, doesn't that look scary? So this arm is not that difficult. It's just a large motor back here. And I kind of taped this scarecrow to the back here. So it's just a bunch of beams put together that's attached to this large motor. So here's how this is supposed to work. I have two ultrasonic sensors. One just looks scary, but this is the one that's actually going to detect somebody trying to reach for the candy. I'm not sure if this candy is too high. You know, you can always raise this up, but when somebody tries to take the candy, it's gonna activate the ultrasonic sensor which will cause this large motor to make the scarecrow pop up. And I actually recorded a sound for it to play, a sound file. So let's go ahead and check this out and see how this works. And I think the bowl was a little bit too close. Let's push this bowl over here. And let's try that again, pretending like, okay, so there is, I, I set the distance for 15 inches, I believe. So let me get the camera ready so you can see this at a good angle. So if somebody tries to reach, here's my hand right here. So if somebody tries to reach for the candy, <laughs> That was a pretty, pretty good laugh that I got out of this evil scarecrow. Ooh. So I thought that you guys might just get a kick out of that. My son said, um, Dad, aren't you going to try to hide the uh, ultrasonic sensor? Yeah, you probably would want to hide it behind or underneath something so that, you know, nobody sees it. I'm not sure how you might camouflage the scarecrow. Because, you know, you can see that it's already there. I mean, if it popped up, that might scare somebody. Uh, 
And that's not even the scariest thing I could have found. You know, I could have found a clown or something like that. So I just thought you guys might want to, you know, if you could possibly give this a shot. Something, you know, it was really easy to put together. I just attached the large motor like that. Got the ultrasonic sensor again for the eyes. I found the perfect picture that had the ultrasonic, you know, the lights um, that far apart. So it was just really neat to just mess with and, you know, bring the candy closer here. And come on, who doesn't like to scare kids? So it's just a cool thing that you might want to give a shot, even if you, you know, if you're going to give out candy, who knows? You just don't want anybody walking away with your robot either. Okay, guys, so hopefully you liked the Scarecrow, the evil Scarecrow, the ultrasonic Scarecrow. Very cool. I, I might put that up on my wall or something. Um, it's just one of those neat projects, again, that you might want to give a shot. It's just so neat, you know, as we go through our day, there's just so many ideas I get just, you know, on TV, as I walk around the house, just ideas where I'm like, you know what, there, there's something we can do with an EV3 robot. So it was just kind of neat to put together. If I never showed you the, the back side of that, that's all it was. Just some beams put together attached to a large motor. So it was just fun to build, fun to put this scarecrow on. Ooh, 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 ah. So um, if you get a chance, that could be a cool project. And you know, Halloween's on Saturday, right? So you might throw down in the comment section, what is going on where you live? Are you guys going to be able to, you know, have some type of Halloween get together, trick or treaters um, here in California? They are heavily discouraging trick or treating. I think in some cities, I think was it Beverly Hills? I think they have banned trick or treating. I know in our county, they have said, you know, don't get into large parties or, you know, trunk or treats or things like that. So. It's crazy. I mean, who would have thought back in March we would, you know, Halloween would be affected, but it is what it is, right? We'll try to have as much fun and, you know, be as creative as we can and still be able to try to have some fun. So, okay, you guys, hopefully you're still having fun, staying safe. I am Mr. Hino from Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. I'm out. He's out. He's out. We got this. We got this. We got this, guys. Hey guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay, guys, take care.